What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and I know we'll be covering Crips and Evasion, but I want to cover a deck that it gained some hype, and I don't know exactly where it is in the meta, but I think it's a very interesting deck to cover, and I'm always a big fan of Sizotoad. So uh, today we're looking at a Sizotoad deck now. This list is based off of Grant Manley's top 8 performance from Daytona. Um, it doesn't have any new cards from Crimson Evasion. I don't know if you'd actually include any. Maybe Gladion is the only one I can really think of on top of my head. Um, just so you can maybe get like a DC out or maybe get like a, a key point, a key card out of your price cards. But outside of that, I think the deck pretty much stays the same. Now, I did make two changes to it. He did play a Nest Ball. And I cut that for a Skyla or a Poison Barb, and then I cut a switch for a Skyla or a Poison Barb. Uh, in his art, in his little list, he said that he wanted to uh, change it for that, so that's what I made to. Uh, he said he would actually cut either the Tina, but I think the Tina needs to stay in this deck just because Trevenant has gotten second place. Greninja's really big, so I think you need the, the Giratina promo. Uh, but let's go over the deck, just in case you don't know what is going on in this Toad to Viper deck. Uh, we kind of covered it before with with Marshadow. We did a Marshadow uh, Sight Toad. Uh, so Viper deck, it was more like a troll kind of deck, just like for fun, but this was actually a super serious and really competitive deck. I think if I remember correctly, Grant Manley was 32nd seed going to day two, then he ended up making top eight, which means he probably won like four out of his five matches and maybe tied the last one to get in the top seed. Uh, but Sight Stone, and this is all I'm going to do today, just Quake a Punch. Quake a Punch does 30 damage, makes where your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand. It's a very simple attack, but it's very powerful. Uh, when you use Quake a Punch, your opponent can play Computer Search, Field Blower, Laser, Stretcher, Special Charge, Ultra Ball, Via Seeker. Uh, they can play, you know, uh, Verbeek City Gym. It's, it's a stadium. They can't play Flowstone. They can't play Poison Barb. All these cards cannot be played thanks to Quake a Punch, which, I mean, when half your deck is shut down, you obviously are going to struggle uh, winning some games. He played two Lele for that Wonder Tag. Uh, he played Force of Viper, which makes it has the ability of more poison, which very common attack or very you know, like it just makes kind of sense uh you just put one more damage counter on poison pokemon <laughs> uh okay so some four cypers one giratina for that devour light make or breaks have no abilities so it means like greninja can use giant water shuriken trevenant break doesn't have forest curse i think it's what's called forest curse um so it could help you shut down those two decks and those decks are actually kind of relevant and expanded and a one one dragology Dragology has a really cool ability, Poison Barrier, make where your opponent's Pokemon can't retreat. So once you poison, they can't retreat, and they're kind of stuck in the Axe spot. And that's going to be all the Pokemon we really, really play. It's a very, like, I hate to say what it's, like, very simple, but it's very simple and linear. Like, you just Quake a Punch, and that's pretty much it in the stack. And you have Survivors to help with Poison and stuff like that. Uh, but one Computer Search to help set up, get any card of your deck. Uh, two Field Blower to get tools off the field. Four Hypnotoxic Lasers, so you can poison them and you flip heads. Uh, they're also asleep. Uh, but we're, we, we do rely on this. Like It is a good card, but you got to make sure when you play Laser, you play it very carefully since you only have four. Now, if you want to play more of Laser-type stuff, um, you could play a Team... Oh, my goodness. Team... Uh, I think it's in... Hold on. We're going to go back here in a second. Let me see if I can remember what set it is um plasma blast i think oh i hit the wrong button apply i can't remember the name why can i not remember the name of it <laughs> it's a plasma card oh my goodness i can't remember the name y'all probably thinking like squeaky what are you talking about i know exactly what you're talking about why can i not remember what this card's called uh there's a oh, shadow try there we go a uh, shadow try can make we get back a team plasma card uh which can get back your lasers so you could play a shadow try if you want to be more safe with your laser plays uh, one stretcher to get back Pokemon in your discard pile, mainly to get back your Dragology and Scrap since you only play one online. Uh, one special charge to get those DCs back into your deck. Four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker. We do code four Furby CD Gym, so you put two more damage counters. So now you have plus ten for Poison, plus two for Furby City Gym, and for every Swiper you do ten more. Uh, so I guess you can do four. Five, six, seven. You can do 70 in between, and with Quaker Punch, you can do 100, which can start two shotting pretty much everything in the game. Like, if you quick and punch for 100, and then they then live and they stay in the axe spot, and they have 170 HP, they can easily get knocked out, come back into your turn. Uh, three A Solo, which is going to be really nice. It makes our side toes really tanky, because they hit your side toe, they don't take a knockout, you can A Solo back into your hand, put it back down the DC, and be good to go. 
uh, one Chorus, one Guzma, one Lysander, uh, one Karen, of course, for Night March and Vesper Queen and stuff like that. Just shuffle all the Pokemon back into the deck and combine this Quaker Punch. You have a pretty good Night March matchup. Uh, two and three Sycamore. This is actually Grant's list, so I can't tell you the reason to buy in the two and three Sycamore. I guess just because, like, space issues. And as long as you find a DCE, you're good to go. Uh, with the Lele, you can always, like, Lele for Skyla to get Computer Search, get DCE. Because uh, Skyla lets you get any trainer card out of your deck, which is really good. Uh, Grant said it was MVP, uh, so definitely that's why he wants a second Skyla. Uh, Skyla can get you, like I said, Computer Search, Poison Barb, anything really out of your deck, which is really nice. Uh, one Team Flare Gun, discard energy from your opponent's Axe Pokemon, which plays a really big part in, like, the mirror match, kind of. Um, and just disrupt your opponent, where they only attach one energy per turn. Could be really bad for them. Uh, one, two, one teammate skating two guards out of your deck. Guarantee the DCE. Guarantee the Poison Bar. Maybe a Furbank. Maybe a, a Sviper. Anything like that. It's really nice. Uh, two Flowstone to give that free treat. Four Poison Barb. Uh, poison Barb, if they're attacked from damage your opponent's attack, even if they're knocked out, they are automatically poisoned. So you're not super reliant on lasers now. You do have Poison Barb to help you take those knockouts and start poisoning them, which is really cool. And a nice inclusion to this deck, because the only way they can really get rid of tools now is like Zerosic, because Zerosic can discard special energy or tool. Um, they can't play like Megaphone or Tool Scrapper or Field Blower, because you are quake and punch them and make it where they can't use those. Unless they have a Ranger... Uh, Ranger gets rid of effects of attacks, and then you can play Field Blower or something like that um, if you want to. And for DC, which is the way we attack with our Scythe Stone, and that is going to be the deck. Like I said, it's pretty linear. You're just going to Quake a Punch with the DC, it's a Viper, and lasers, all that kind of good stuff. And you're just going to take Knockout. They can't retreat because they're gouging and stuck in the Axe Spot. And that is the point of the deck. Uh, and it's obviously really powerful. Like I said, Grant made it from 30 seconds to top 8. Uh, he didn't lose the top 8. I don't know what he played against. Uh, maybe Glissapod. Glissapod is a very bad matchup for you. Um, but besides that, I think the deck is really, really strong, guys. Uh, but yeah, the guys, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, test this deck out. I don't know how well it's going to do in Crimson Innovation. Um, obviously, because the set's still new. Uh, we'll find out, I think, in San Jose in like two weeks. Uh, I think San Jose is expanded. If it is expanded, then we're going to see can size to make an appearance. I don't know. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, so bringing this Leo Bandit uh, playing, so we got a fighting deck, and I don't think fighting's, unless it's Landers, then he's weak to water, but if it's not Landers, then we're, he's not weak to water, he's either weak to, like, grass or psychic, uh, so the call of the coin flip, always we want to go first, um, but let's see here, I mean, going second is not too bad, because if we get the DC turn one, we get that Quake Punch off, and start putting, okay, we're going first, which means we're playing against Night March. <laughs> immediately like boom we're playing against night march i 100 percent know it uh now with this hand if he starts joltic we we can actually take a knockout turn one um because we get skyla for laser put down verbank and just yeah just take a knockout immediately all right so let's see did he start joltic or did he start pokeboo uh, we'll find out here in a second today on pgcgo land now we do have like laser and stuff in our hand do we want to put it down probably not uh i guess in this case as well it'd be really good against night march like be able to uh lele turn one for night march he puts down two pokemon which means no donk unfortunately and we see a marsh shadow and a jolting all right so what we do is put a poison barb on the active um or do we skyla um, we could uh, Skyla for ult while discarding a Poison Barb and a Lysander to get another Toad out for next turn. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do here. I think I am going to ult ball just in case he goes crazy and takes a knockout this turn. So I'm going to ult ball, discard the Poison Barb and the Lysander. I am going to grab another Seismic Toad, okay. Yeah, I'll grab a Seismic Toad, put that guy down, and then we'll just pass it to our opponent's turn. I really don't want to put another Poison Barb or anything like that. Uh, yeah, he can Quake a Punch, he could punch us, and then he could get poisoned. But what I'm more scared of is that he removes one of our Poison Barbs. Alright, so Seeker Presser, he's going to discard some Night Marchers. And if only we had a Karen, and, or we had DC, we thought like DC, we can like, we can Sky, we can Lele for Karen, Qu DC, Quake a Punch, he starts double compressor here, alright, that must be nice, <laughs> uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, he's done 120, Acrobike, uh, gonna discard a Pumpkaboo, okay, now when he, if he takes a knock out here, um, we'll be in trouble, I'm not gonna lie to you, we will be in trouble, okay, so Dimension Valley will be in discarded, uh, obviously Trainer's Mail, and the reason why I'll be in trouble is because, <sighs> We can't DCE plus Quick Punch right now, unfortunately. Um, yeah, if we definitely had uh, Gats' turn one. Yeah, if we had Gats' turn one, this whole 
I, I think we would have hit like five at least. I don't know what this one card in his hand is. If it's another Pokemon, I don't know what this card is. We're not going to know anymore. But he definitely didn't have any supporter cards in his hand. Tone guesses at least got us like five. I know that for sure. Uh, there's a DC in the active. There's an Acrobike. Right now he's got seven in discard pile. Uh, Kane discards an Ultra Ball, I think. Uh, there is a Ultra Ball discarding in and a Dimension Valley. So two Dimension Valley two Dimension Valleys in the discard pile right now. Okay. Uh, like I said, the problem is, is he's going to punch us here, and we're going to get punched hard. And if he knocks us out, then we are definitely in trouble. Oh, man, this is the scary part of Nightmare. So we see Punkaboo come down. Really don't care too much about that, okay? And you got to think he has a supporter card in hand. There's Sycamore discarding a VS Seeker. Does he find another Battle Crusher? So three, six, seven. He's done a, a puzzle time as well. Uh, but do we type a DC? If we type a DC, we can go for Karen and definitely put our opponent in a pickle. Uh, so see another trainer's mail. Look at top four cards of his deck. Already has 19 cards left. There's a choice band. Uh, 140, 170. Acrobike. He still needs one more Pokemon in the Discord pile. Uh, take a knockout with that choice band. And let's see. There is a Sycamore being discarded. Okay. Oh boy. So there's a choice band going to the active, but still not a knockout just yet. And there's a Night March. All right, so we barely survived. But still, it's not really going to matter too much. Uh, so we get a Special Charge. Kind of irrelevant. Uh, put down a Verbix to the Gem. We will Lele use Wonder Tag. Yes. And let's see, is our Karen even in the deck? And it is in the deck, okay. Um, so let's see. He has three on the bench, three on our bench. I think what I'm going to do right now is just grab Course if it's in here. Okay, Course is not in here, unfortunately. Okay. Um, we could grab Sycamore, but we're discarding a special charge, and then we'll give him a new hand. Um, but I think we have to go for Sycamore here, and just, like, hope we get good, I guess. Like, we have to hit a DCE and at least a laser this turn. Alright, so the Sycamore going to our hand. We'll put a Poison Barb on the active. We'll play a Sycamore, discarding our hand on seven new cards. And we find a DCE. Okay, so put a DC in this guy. We will... I'll hold on to everything else right now, and what I'm going to do is just Quake a Punch for 30. And what this is going to allow us to do is uh, if he hits us with a uh, attack, he'll take 30. And then we have Ultra Ball for a Lele for Karen with DC with Toad in her hand, and he will get hit. This is Zerosic discarding the Poison Barb, unfortunately. But this is probably his only Zerosic. Okay, so see Night March to 170 again, okay? Going out of four prize cards, but this is where we're about to shine. As long as the other Lele is not prized, I didn't check to see if it was. And there is a laser, all right? So Ultra Ball... Uh, we're going to discard the Guzma and the Dragology. Because I want to keep Skyla in hand. We can maybe utilize that. And the Lele's in there. So grab the Lele. And there we go. So grab the Lele. Put a DC on the active. So let's see. Six. Uh, nine. Okay. So we can punch for six. They come back to 90. It really doesn't do anything. He gets knocked out regardless. Goes three, six. 9, 12. I'm going to hold it to laser. It's kind of irrelevant right now. We'll play a Lele. Yes. We'll search Porter Guard. We'll grab a Karen. And we're going to shuffle all of his Pokemon in Discard Pile. Alright, so this is where we shine against Night March. So Karen. We'll play the Karen here. We're going to shuffle all those guys back to his deck. Alright, so we get two. But he's going to get three, six, seven in there. Alright, and that's what we need to do. Now, like I said, laser. Okay, there we go. I'm going to immediately concede the game and realize he can't win it. Uh, and yeah, there we go. That's how you beat Night March there. Uh, <laughs> pretty simple. Like, yeah, he got explosive and then he didn't have any resources left. I mean, he uses only Zerosic, so he probably didn't have another Zerosic. If he Guzma, we had Flowstone in hand. We weren't going to play our hand down. We were definitely just going to Quake a Punch him until we won that game. I uh, really no need to play the lasers that turn. Uh, that's one thing you have to do when you're playing this deck, is you have to, like, uh, think out, is the laser worth playing? Because right there, it wasn't. Um, because he had 120 left, 30 plus 30 is 60, coming back it's 90, so it doesn't take a knockout, it realistically doesn't do anything. The following turn, it would have been a little bit different, because he would have gotten knocked out, coming to our turn, and that's what we need to do. Uh, but yeah, we'll see another game with the Toast of Viper deck, really didn't see too much, we definitely just saw the power of Karen, uh, plus Quake a Punch, and that's what really won us the game. We did 30 damage, and our opponent conceded after doing like 200 and something. Uh, or 340, and then he conceded. <laughs> Alright, but I'll we'll see another game with the deck here in a sec. I definitely think the, the, what changed or helped us out a lot is that turn one where he whiffed the other Battle Compressor, whiffed another Pokemon in the discard pile, because if he hit that, then he would have won this game 100%, and there was no way we could have come back from that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see another game with the deck here in a sec, and we'll see what happens.
Alright, so putting a Sandro Lausha, uh, looks like they're playing a Volcanian deck. Uh, so this be, should be pretty fun. Because, uh, you know, Volcanian's weak to water. Unless they're playing Ho-Oh, then Ho-Oh's weak to lightning. Um, but, I have been playing against the Volcanium, hit for weakness, punch for 60. Uh, be really cool. Mm, yeah, so yeah. And we'll see, uh, they're calling the coin flip here. So let's see, what does Sandro... Uh, go here. So we want the coin flop. Of course, yes, we want to go first. Always want to go first, no matter what. Yes, we are. Have a quick punch we could do. All right, so there's a Viper. Um, and I guess we'll just in here. We could Lele Skyla Ultra Ball to get a Seismitoad, but I really don't want to waste a VS Seeker next turn. Hmm. All right, so choose an active Pokemon. I guess this is where, like... Nest Ball could have come in clutch because you can Lele, um, Skyla, Nest Ball. But I really want to draw more cards. Uh, so I think I am just going to end regardless and just try to get a new hand of six. Uh, so press done here. Alrighty. So let's see what's going to happen today. Oh, I kicked the TV beside me. Alright, there's a Gleager. A Gleager and an active spot. So he is playing a Noiver deck. Now Noiver makes it where we can't attach our special energies, which is very, very annoying. <laughs> okay, so... He's weak to water, though. So we have a shot. Okay. Do we go for Lele Skyla for the Pokemon that we need? I think I'm just going to end here and just hope we hit it. I think that would be the better choice. Okay. That's not what I want to see. This is actually not the most terrible hand, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. So, man. Do we pass? I don't think we pass here because if we do, we could lose. Uh, so you have a search supporter card here. I'm going to grab. Um, I kind of just want to grab like an end for the falling turn. Put a DC on the Lele and just see what happens. Because we still can like energy drive for the knockout. Yes, he can use his uh, like item card stuff like that. But I think that is the better thing to do. Um, because if we put the energy on the active, we could definitely just like put a laser and energy drive for the knockout, which is something really cool to do. Uh, we see his own Viper coming down. We see a Trainer's Mount, like a tougher card of his deck. Okay. We see a Crushing Hammer. Okay. You know, that's one thing we could have done was waited because we. All right, so DC the active. All right. Um, but now what this does is we actually knock out this Gligar next turn. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80 with the energy drive. We see another Gligar coming down. Okay. We see a Viper coming down. We see a Trainer's Mail. <sighs> okay. Hmm. So another Nest Ball. Okay. Oh, a hey, Nest Ball. There's a, a Reflip Victini. What kind of Gligar deck is he playing? Stun Poison Heads. Paralyzed and poisoned. Alright. So let's see here. Three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, hypothetically, we could take a knock on this turn. So I'm gonna put down laser. I'm gonna put down verbing. I am gonna put down our verbing. Yes, it does hurt us more, but we're gonna see what happens. Okay, that's that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Alright, so Ultra Ball. Discard the field floor and a Burbank City Gem to grab a Seismitoad. Man, I'm so scared that if he evolves. Wait, does Glacker even evolve to Noivern? It's Noivern evolves. <laughs> it, he evolves into Gliscor, you silly. Oh my goodness. Alright, so put a DC. Do we put down DC or not? I'm so scared that he's going to knock us out this turn. So five. Yeah, I don't get knocked out through poison next turn, but that's fine. I'm actually fine with this. Uh, I want to get knocked out, actually. Like in, like in, oh, I really do want to get knocked out. <laughs> Which is weird to say. I know I, it's weird to say that I want to get knocked out. But if we get knocked out next turn, we can just VS it for N. And we can Quaker Punch here. So I think that's a fine play here. I think I'm fine with getting knocked out. Um, so we see a VS Seeker. Okay. For a Sycamore. Looks like he's getting ready for next turn. Maybe he's going to use Sycamore this turn. I don't know why I thought Gl Gligar evolved to Noivern. I was like, man, we're so, we're so in trouble. Uh, so... The annoying thing is he's going to be able to do this stun poison thing every single turn. Uh, but we could knock him out. All right. So send up Toad on our turn. Let's see what we get. So we get a Ultra Ball. So put a DC in the active. Well, Stretcher to put this Viper in our hand. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll grab some Viper. We'll put that down. Okay. And then we'll VS Seeker 
for an N, uh, putting him down to five, we get six. Uh, but what I'm scared of is that he gets stun poison. He has two shots to unpoison us. All right, so we get laser and a floatstone. We get via secret as well, but no ace to roll, unfortunately. So we'll go for laser. Okay, come on, baby. Flip some heads here, buddy. And heads. All right, so he is asleep. We'll put a floatstone on the bench, so Viper. And then we'll quake a punch for 30 damage times two, 60. Uh, plus the poison, a 40 for the knockout. Uh, no, he is still, oh my goodness, oh, oh goodness, oh goodness, he gets knocked out through poison, come back into our turn, but, <laughs> the problem is, he has two chances to poison us, to stun poison us, okay, <laughs> I'm hoping we take an ace roll of our own, uh, that'd be really nice, uh, if we take ace roll, then we can get out of this poison, uh, which is really good, there's another Viper coming down, okay, DC's Avenge Gligar, he could retreat this turn, and no, gonna go stun poison here, so Tails, he's got a free flip here, and it's double Tails! Alrighty, so, I don't, I mean, double, you know, 50-50 chance, and we, yeah, that's cool. So, Scrap coming down, okay, Scrap was great to have, uh, maybe can make it where he can't retreat his Pokemon. Alright, so things are going away right now. <laughs> we definitely, definitely needed that. So, there is a Viper in an active spot, okay, so we get a DC here. Um, doo -doo -doo. we'll put down Scrap. I think I'm going to hold the laser. There's really no need to play it right now. And I'm just going to VS Seeker for an N. Yeah, we can try to get it stuck in the Axe Spot and all that kind of mumbo jumbo, whatever. Uh, but I'd rather just in here, get a new hand, give him a new hand, whatever. We're looking for a Toad, DCE, and we found those. All right, so put down Toad. Um, we'll put down the DCE, and we'll go for a Quake and Punch just to hold up the lock so he can't play his item cards, whatever. Uh, now, next turn, he's got two chances again to flip a coin. I mean, unrealistically, like, I mean, like, it's not, it should be, he should at least flip a heads here. Like, he flipped double tails. Like, he should flip it, but every single time you flip, it's a new 50-50 shot. There's randomness every single time, so it really doesn't matter. So we see Sycamore here going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, discards a Crush Hammer, which is very relevant in this matchup. How many Crush Hammers are in his hand? Uh, we see a Psychic energy going to Viper. And we see a stun. Oh my goodness. Please do not flip double tails here. Oh my goodness. What? All right. So a laser. And that is going to be enough for the knockout. All right. So heads. We'll play a Colors here for eight. That is insane. Oh my goodness. You got to feel so bad for opponent, right? Uh, so put down Viper. We'll put down a Poison Bar finally. And there we go. What? That was so unlucky for our opponent. Double whiff. Oh my goodness goodness oh my goodness um i guess the real question was did we find a way to get out a well i guess he had a vs sticker he could have ace rolled no matter what um but yeah that was so unfortunate for our opponent we got really lucky there uh let's see the let's see the coin flips here i think he's like one for something oh he's actually just like well i guess it says four for three because he like used the reflip so it never counted so I don't know how that, I don't know why PDCO doesn't record all the clean flips. Like, it definitely, definitely flipped more than three tails. Like, I think so. Like, because he definitely, maybe he flipped more tails, heads than we thought. And, like, the more, like, relevant heads, like, it's when he flipped tails. I don't know. Uh, but, man, that was so dirty. But still, the Geiger Stun Poison deck is very cool. That's a very great concept. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see another game with the deck here in a second, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Alright guys, so game number three, we've gotten pretty lucky here. Like, game number one, we played against Night March, and we like Karen, and he immediately conceded. Game number two, like, the flips, the flips were our way. Oh my goodness, can I, can we get the, can we get the good luck again on our side? Uh, we'll see what happens here. So, we start Side Stone and DCE. Oh my goodness, that is what we need. Two Side Stones, three Side No, I will take them. So, Side Stone, uh, put down Side Stone. Um, alright, so there we go. So two sides to getting start off with. That's pretty in insane. Starting off with three out of four out of 60 cards. That is pretty crazy to see. Uh, so uh, it's another Night March deck. Okay, so he's going first, as you see. So DCC active, uh, Ultra Ball, and discarding Ultra Ball and, and Puzzle. Okay, now, okay, Zora. So he does play Zorak in this deck. Okay. Um, now, immediately, we have a couple options here. We have Lele, and Lele can do a couple things here. Shade Men for six. It's always really good. Uh, we could immediately Lele for Karen and Karen him. And I think that might just there win us the game, just like we saw in game number one. I, don't, I mean, Night March is definitely, like, the one of the best decks in, like, Expanded. 100%, like, one of the best decks in Expanded. Uh, and pass on to our turn. Well, I guess we'll DC the active. 
Do we even... I don't think we even go for a um, a Karen right now. I think we just coerce here and get seven new cards. I think that's the better play. Karen's in there, but I don't think we're going to grab Karen. I'd rather go for coerce, try to find a laser, put some pressure on opponent, uh, get rid of the Dimension Valley as well, and I'd rather just get seven new cards. There's a laser and a Verbank. Uh, okay, so let's see. Well, laser... Uh, Tez, we'll put down a Verbic City Gym, and we'll go for a Quake and Punch here. I think Quake and Punch for 60, 90, uh, 150. He does get knocked out going back into his turn, unfortunately, and it is Tell, so he cannot retreat this Marsh Shadow, and there we go. We will take the first knockout. All right, so that's good for us. Uh, he has an EX Tucker as well, and you gotta think from here, Night March is, will struggle. Uh, so there's the Trade Zark, okay. Might make the math matchup a little bit different he can trade discard a card draw two new cards discard the joltic <laughs> that's a good way to get his night march in the discard pile that's pretty funny uh we see a tapu Layla come down use the wonder tag will this find an ace Rolla here all right there's a second more so no ace Rolla. now if he second wars and discards a bunch of like pokemon we might well we can't actually go for the uh, uh what i want to do Oh, we can't go for Karen. So three, four, five. So he's only doing a hundred right now. He could do one twenty. So pass on to our turn. All right. So their heads. Um, all right. So he does wake up. On to our turn, we find a, a Sviper. We'll put down Sviper. We'll put a DC on the Toad. And I think I'm gonna Skyla for a Karen. Um. Yeah. We we could Skyla for Team Flurgant though, and discard the DC off the active. Which is actually not a bad idea, but then it's our only resource. But I think going for Team Flurgon next turn might be a little better. Uh, we will take away a way of attack. So I think, yeah, I think this is a little better play. So I'm just going to Quake a Punch here for the knockout. He can send up Zork next turn and, and not and not knock us out, but do heavy damage to us. But then we can Team Flurgon the DC off. And then he's down to two DCs left. So I think it's a little bit better. There's a Poison Bomb and a Laser going to her hand, which is really nice. Here comes the Joltic on to our opponent's turn. Uh, can he take a knockout this turn? Pretty insane. Three, four, five. He has five in the discard pile. Trade could make it six. All right. Nope. Discards are trained him all. And what we can do next turn. Okay. So there's a DC going to the active. We'll see a Night March here for 100. Uh, but what we're going to do this turn is put down a Poison Barb on the active. And we will just go for a Quake Punch for 30. And now if he attacks the Pumpkin, the Pumpkin will take uh, 60 damage. I know. Um... Just 40, 50, and yeah, there we go. There's a there's knockout. Yeah, I mean, there's pretty much nothing he can do here. He can send up Zark and, and, and punch us, but then we can punch it back easily. And we have Team Flurg on our hand, which makes the other DC go away. He'll go down to one. And then from there, there's really not much he could do. But hopefully the, the fourth game here is not against Night March. It's not if somebody who concedes and, and flips like much tails. I hope we actually have a real good game. But with Size Toad, there's so many decks that rely on item cards that when you start winning, your opponents are just going to concede regardless. So I like there's really not much to show with this deck. And that is the unfortunate thing because your opponents are usually just going to concede when they know they're losing to a Toad lock. Uh, but we'll see another game with the deck here in a second. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're playing against Stab 01. It looks like they're playing another Night March deck. This could be Darkrai, though. I'm hoping it's Darkrai. I saw Fighting. I saw like, Psychic. I saw Dark. So I'm, I'm hoping it's Darkrai and we actually see a... A, 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 a game here. I actually hope we see a game here. But then it comes down to Dark like He relies on Dark Patches, Max Elixirs, uh, maybe Laser, um, stuff like that. Now, he could play Malamar, and Malamar could make things interesting. Uh, or this hand could just really bad, and we just lose that way. So, we start the Viper. Okay. I'm hoping we top like a Toad, and then he puts out a bunch of Pokemon with Colors, and we're good to go. So there is Darkrai. All right, so it is the Darkrai deck I was talking about. So Ultra Ball discarded two cards from his hand, discarded the Dark and an N. Oh, why did you play the N? Our hand is so bad. Uh, probably get Hoopa, Scoundering, search for three Darkrai's. I'm hoping he puts down a Skyfield. Uh, Fear Belt to the Actives, Hoopa, Scoundering. Uh, Dark Ride, Dark Ride Shaman, maybe, or something like that. Maybe three Dark Rides, already have Shaman in hand. Um, I already put down like Skyfield, bench a bunch of Pokemon, and we could coerce for a ton. All right, so Dark Ride, oh, Malamar. Malamar makes the matchup so weird uh, because he can put energy on Malamar and Hyper Hypnosis us asleep. So Dark and Active, Shaman set up a four. Okay. Yeah, Malamar makes it very, very interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. Um. So there's a Dark Patch to the Dark Rye, I imagine. I doubt he puts on a Malamar. Yeah, so Dark Rye, okay. We see a VS Seeker for N, and we're going to get a new hand of six. Yes, good, good, good. Good, good, good. 
All right, so in. Uh, we'll see it. another Darker coming down in. Going to get six cards for both of us. That's good for us because our hand wasn't that good at all. All right, let's see. What do we find here? So, okay, we're kind of there. We're almost there. We got a Toad. We got a Guzma, but no DC in hand. So let's see. What do we find? Owned our turn. We find an Ultra Ball. All right, so put down Toad. We'll Ultra Ball. Discard the Skyla and Guzma. Just have the discard pile. I think we find another Sviper here. Um, yeah, right, we find another Toad. I'm gonna get another Toad out, I think. I think it's better to have two Toads. That way we can, like, maybe one attack. We'll put down a Toad. We'll put a Poison Bar for one of them. And we'll, uh, Chorus for eight. Yeah, we'll Chorus for eight here. All right, come on. Give me Float Stone DC. All right, so we're Chorus here. Let's see, what cards do we get? So close. All right, so Verbic Seed Gem. We'll play the Laser. Okay. So tails, and we're gonna pass right now. Um, yeah. All right. So under opponent's turn, let's see what happens. Gonna draw a card. Okay. Uh, yeah. I really don't want to put it on the DCE. I'm always scared of enhanced hammer. I know he probably doesn't play enhanced hammer. Um, but yeah. Just why I always want to take it. You know, I want to be careful like always. So we see a dark energy going to dark eye. We see a chorus here going to get a bunch of cards. Uh, but no. I mean, he can still like dark patch and everything. Um, he has one more turn, and after that, he's not gonna have another turn. Uh, he's going to retreat to the Dark Rye, okay. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. All right. There's a, if he gets the Dark Energy, he takes a knockout. And he misses the Dark Energy? Oh, goodness. All right. So let's see here. We can put a DC in the eye. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I think what we're going to do now is VS Seeker for a Guzma. And, yeah, times are going to change here. We'll put a DC on the Toad. I'm going to Guzma. And I think I'm going to Guzma one of the Dark Rye that has already a... Uh, if he has the energy, he can still attack this turn. So what I'm going to do is bring up the Hoopa and uh, sit up our Toad. And then a Quake a Punch. Yeah, there we go. So we got the Quake a Punch unlocked. There we go. 30 damage. Almost to our opponent's turn. Okay, so we're looking good to go. All right. So um, he can't really attack us this turn. This Dark Energy on the bench. Unless he has his own Guzma here. So Sycamore discarding a bunch of stuff. Discards two via Secret Restoration Dark Eye. The question remains, does he play Skyfield or not? We haven't seen a Skyfield come online just yet. Some of them do play it, some of them don't. Okay, so pass on to our turn. And we get a Field Blower. Uh, field Blower, we can definitely get rid of both of these fighting fear belts. So one and two. Okay, so press done. And we're going for a Quake of Punch here. I'd rather just hold on to his hand with Ace Rolla. And now we can Ace Rolla next turn if we need to. We'll see Quake of Punch onto our opponent's turn. Because he can put a Dark Energy the Active Retreat to Darkrai and punch us. But then he takes 30 from Poison Barb. Uh, 40. Uh, we see a Dark Energy going to Darkrai. And there's a Guzma. Bring it up our Slides Toe. Sip as Darkrai. And uh, we do have Ace Rolla. So we still can Ace Roll the Active, which is pretty nice here. Uh, all right. So on our turn, uh, we'll Ace Roll the Active. Sin up Sives Toad, put down Toad, uh, put a DCE, we'll go for a Quake of Punch for 30. Alright, so now if he hits us, he will take Poison Damage and everything like that for the Poison Barb. Alright, so our opponent's turn, this is where Poison Barb is going to start to shine. We also have VS Seeker for Ace Roll next turn. Uh, we've only played one so far. Dark Energy to that guy. We see it gets us here, getting two, getting rid of our VS Seeker, unfortunately. Alrighty, that's not what we want to see. Well, let's see. What does he decide to swing with here? That is a question. So we see Dark Pulse did 140. He's going to take uh, poison damage. And he's going to go up to 40. Bring it up to 70. Okay. So on to our turn. We have 110 left. There's a Float Stone. Unfortunately, Float Stone cannot help us. So put a Float Stone on the side here. We'll play Sycamore. This in our hand draws 70 cards. We find another Toad. Uh, so put down, we put down the Toad or not. I think we need to. Um, we're going to Ultra Ball discard the... Lysir and Sycamore. And with this, I'm going to grab a Scrap. We really need a Scrap here. Oh my goodness. We prize both the Scrap and Dra Dragology. Wow. Alright, so we're going to have a Viper here because he's taking a knockout regardless. I'd rather thin our deck down. Uh, we'll put down some Viper. And we'll go for a Quake of Punch here. Alright, so uh, 50 damage. So he's a 30 HP left. On to our opponent's turn. Maybe a Quake of Punch will knock it out. But man. Yeah, probably scope and Dragology. So Dark Energy to the Dark Pulse. I mean, the Night Spirit Dark Rye. Uh, Skyfall coming down. That's unfortunate. Because now if he puts it on the Pokemon and we play it state, if we can discard that guy. We see Dark Rye coming up. We see Night Spirit doing 90 and 30. 
Uh, the question is, who does he put the 30 to? Uh, but we see it in here. Okay. Does he find another Pokemon to put down to bump this Darkrai? All right, so Poison Barb, so Viper, Ace Rolla, Karen. Uh, some good stuff here. So Restoration. Okay. All right, so no Dark Energy Discard Pile, which is great for us. We'll see a Night Spear for 90 and 30 to probably the Toad. Oh, it's this Viper, actually. Okay, so he'll take uh, some Poison Damage here, taking uh, 30. All right, so send up Scythe Toad. On to our turn. We got another Viper. We could put that down. On to our turn. Let's see what we get. We get a VS stick here. So put down Viper. Um, Poison Bar be active. And I kind of want a VS Seeker for an in. Uh, just put him down low hand size. Uh, we don't even have an in discard pile. Never mind. So let's see. He's doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He could do 180 next turn. That is very, very scary. He could knock out our guy next turn. Um... So I think I am going to VS Seeker for Colorus. Uh, or do we go for Guzma here? I think we'll go for Guzma, actually, and knock out this Darkrai. Yeah, that's probably the, that's 100% the better play. So we'll Guzma up this guy. We'll send him versus a Viper. We'll take a knockout. We do get rid of that poison, uh, but I think taking the knockout here, making it where he can knock us back out, is a great play. So you have Quake a bunch here for 30, and uh, we'll poison him as... Oh, he maybe taxes still get poisoned. So there is a Skrelp and a teammates. All right. So on his turn... He's listening to Darkrai. He can Dark Pulse, but doesn't knock us out, so that's great. All right. We have Ace Roll at hand. We have Skrelp. All righty. So we're slowly starting to set up here. There's a Dark Energy Restoration Darkrai. Dead in GX is a deadly card. They hit the word about. There's a Hex Maniac coming online. Uh, okay. There's a Dark Pulse for 140. Still takes poison. Okay. So, on our turn, we'll put down Skrelp. We will ace roll the active. <clears throat> Send in the seismitoad. Put a DCE. We'll still poison barb it. Uh, put down the other seismitoad. And he's going to... What? He's going to see the game here? Uh, let's see. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I mean, I guess, like... I don't know why he conceded the game there. No. But this is what I was talking about. Like, sometimes your opponents are just going to concede the game. They're going to get so mad at you, and then they're going to see there. I'm trying to think, did we have the game immediately? I don't think so. But I guess my opponent's like, I have a bad hand. I can't do anything. Yeah, I can Dark Pulse. Maybe take another knockout. But then how do I take my last two prize cards? I definitely think Dead End would have won him the game. Um, but, I mean, we have three Survivors. I was going to try to Ultra Ball get the fourth one out, but it was in the deck. I think it was. And then we could have done, like, Quake Punch for uh, 70 in between turns, which is pretty deadly. Then another 40. I would think would have knocked him out if I did them, if I remember correctly. I could be remember wrong, though. Uh, but, yeah, there's the Hyacinthos of Viper Poison Barb deck. Uh, we didn't have Dragology that game. Uh, if we had Dragology, that would have been a game changer. Like, being able to Dragology get his Dark Rise stuck in the active spot would have been totally different. Uh, but we did prize our Dragology and Skrelp, which is very unfortunate. But yeah, there we go, guys. I mean, really not much to show off with this stack because, like I said, most of your opponents are going to concede like that. They're, you're going to start winning, and they're like, oh, okay, I'm done. I don't want to play this game anymore because playing against Cybersoid is never fun. But it is a very, very good deck to use. But guys, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching an episode of Cybersoid as a Viper. Uh, test it out. Um, I think it is a good deck, but I think it's going to start struggling uh, in the new format with, like, Zorak GX having the trade. Um, Guardy decks are starting to run comfy, like I told you, comfy, 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 and their deck now that could change some stuff as well. I think Trevin is a scary matchup. You do have Tina promo, so maybe that will help out. I know um, Grant said that Tina makes it a good matchup, so maybe it does. I don't know. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thursday. Alrighty, bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.